y'all, I am making some pina colada dip today, so I thought I would just jump on and show you what I'm doing. I've got our cooling syrup. I took a fresh pineapple and cut it up. I've got strawberries, graham crackers, and pretzels. But y'all, this stuff is delicious no matter what you eat it with, even if it's just by the spoon. If you want to be the hit of any party, make this dip. I'm not really a fan of coconut, but I'm telling you, it's delicious. So the first thing I'm gonna put in is a can of cream of coconut, okay? Don't buy coconut milk. It will not work because it's not thick enough. Now when you open your can of cream of coconut, it's kind of solid at the top, but that's okay. And we'll see if it'll do it. It's just, uh, I don't know why it does that, but it does cream of coconut. But see, as you start pouring it, it it's liquid. So it's delicious. So I'm going to get all of that out. It's only three simple ingredients to make this dip. And there are, I've seen different versions of people trying to recreate the wheel, but this is the original and I promise you, you will never regret making this. I found or find the cream of coconut on the baking aisle in uh, my grocery store here. But sometimes they are found on the drink aisle, like mixed drinks. I guess you use these in some kind of mixed drink cocktails. I'm not sure because I don't drink. But anyway, cream, don't forget that. Cream of coconut, not coconut milk, not coconut anything else. Cream of coconut. Okay. The only other thing other than Cool Whip, is I have a large box, and I don't know what I did, I must have thrown my box away. It's Jell-O Vanilla Flavored Pudding, and this is the five ounce pack. So first thing you do is your coconut, cream of coconut, and your Jell-O just dry. Then you're just gonna give it a good whisk. You don't even have to get your hand mixer out. You can if you want to, but you really don't have to. And when you're whisking it, it's gonna kind of resemble cake batter. It smells so good already, that vanilla and coconut. Normally, when I make this, I make a double batch because if my children or grandchildren, husband, if we're here, this would be gone in seconds. We would just eat it like little pigs <laughs> because it is so, so delicious. Okay, so I just kind of want you to see the texture. It's just kind of like a cake batter. Keep it in the refrigerator if there's any left, and uh, it will thicken a little bit. Just making sure I've got it all whisked together good. Most of the time when I'm using a stainless whisk, I don't even have to get out my hand mixer for cake batters. That little thing will mix up just about anything. And normally I get Cool Whip light, but I couldn't find it this time, so I've just got the regular Cool Whip, you can use light Cool Whip if you prefer. And I'm just going to dump this whole eight ounce container in. I'm gonna do half, about half of it, and then just kind of fold it. Not really whisk it as much, just kind of stir it. And you'll want to blend your Cool Whip and your mix that's already in here until you just get a consistent color. You don't want to see a lot of white and you don't want to see a lot of yellow. You want that to come together and make a beautiful color of its own. I wish each and every one of you that were watching this could be here to taste of it. See how it's changing the color? You're not seeing a lot of white of the Cool Whip anymore and you're not seeing a predominant amount of the yellow. And it's already getting thicker. Let me put in the rest of this Cool Whip. If you watch me often, I'm using my scoop and spread. That is my very favorite handy little tool in my kitchen. I love, love, love this. I have about six of them because I do not ever, ever want to be without one. And it's called scoop and spread because it will scoop anything out of a jar and it will clean it out and then the spread comes from this end. You can scoop your peanut butter or jelly and then spread it with the other end. 
It's got a little serrated edge so you can also cut your sandwiches or things with it. Squirrel, I got off the track, sorry. I just get excited every time I use this little tool. Okay, so the cool and serve comes in a lot of different sizes, but I'll tell you a little bit about that. Also, it will keep food cold for four to six hours if you use the freezer inserts that come with it. Even if you're outside, it will keep it cold for four to six hours. I don't really need the freezer pucks in mine because I'm keeping this in the refrigerator anyway. But if you're going to parties and you want a nice dish to take something in to keep it cold, the cool and serve works wonderful for that. So I'm just going around again and making sure, let me come closer so you can see, making sure I don't see a lot of white streaks or more yellow. It's all blended. Y'all weren't even holding that where you could see it, was I? It's all blended in well. You see how thick that is now? Okay. If I didn't have anything in the middle of my cool and serve, I would leave that pineapple topping right in there because it's just so pretty. And that would let them know that they have fresh pineapple. I love those tops. I always hate to throw them away. I like to use them for decoration. All right. So now I'm going to just put this right in the middle. Then I'm going to taste some to make you jealous. <laughs> Normally, I would have mixed this in another small cool and serve bowl that has a lid, but I wanted you to be able to see through and see what I'm doing. And seeing through is another reason I love these cool and serves. Y'all see that? And it also comes with a lid. So you can put it in the lid, and anybody can easily see when they open your refrigerator what goodies you have in there for them. So now I have got, I couldn't find the little graham crackers. So I took some, um, oh Lord, graham crackers, just the full graham crackers and I, they were in the half size. So I just broke them in two. I'm gonna taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. As we say in the South, this will make you slap your mama. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, y'all. I got to close my eyes, cover it, and quit eating because the girls and the children are coming over. And I want um, all of them to have some too. So thank you so much for watching. And I'm telling you, this is a single recipe, but I do usually double it for my crowd because they eat it up so fast. And I will share the recipe in the comments of this video. So thank you so much for watching and y'all please make this pina colada dip and when you do let me know how you like it thanks y'all have a great day bye bye